Hello everyone, Code Queen Ayeli. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an electronic signature with Wix code, otherwise known as Corvid, using your own custom form. Make sure to click on this link to follow the tutorial site so you can test it out yourself. Here's my acknowledgement form. Notice how I can sign my name with this drawing pad. Once I submit my name, it saves my name and my email address, and then it has a thank you message. I can view the signatures or hide them. I can also sign again. That's it, that's how simple the form is. Now let's go over the tutorial so you can try it out yourself. First, you turn on the developer tools or enable Corvid. Inside of your editor, make sure to look for one of these, dev mode, code, or Corvid, and make sure to hit on that developer tools or enable Corvid button. Next, you're going to create your form. So start adding those user input elements by using the editor, go to the menu, look for user input elements, and drag and drop the ones that you need. Make sure that you do not use the pre-made Wix forms or the preset. Start from scratch to follow this tutorial. Notice how we named our dataset. Save new signature with the ID save signature dataset. And these are our settings. After we add our dataset and our user input elements, we're going to connect them together. So the first user input element is full name. I'm going to select the data set on my page and connect it to the column in my database called full name. Then for my second user input element, which is email, I'm going to connect it to the same data set under the column email. You can add more elements simply by dragging and dropping and connecting them the same way. If you're wondering when that third element was, it's actually not a box. It is an HTML iframe. So let's go ahead and add that in our editor. Click on the menu, click on more all the way at the bottom, and look for this HTML iframe. Once you've added that HTML iframe, go ahead and come back here and copy this entire code. This code is derived from GitHub. You can follow along and read the original source by using these links below. You can also test their live site by using this link. Now, if you have any CSS experience, HTML writing, then feel free to modify this code to make it look a little bit differently. If you remember from our example, ours looks like this. There are two buttons to match our current design of the site. The outline and the color match the user input element design that we added here. These two are user input elements added from the editor. This is simply an HTML iframe that looks like a user input element, but is really the HTML drawing pad. Pretty cool, right? Adding the code to your page. Now that you've added the HTML iframe, you can paste this code at the bottom of your page. If you already have experience with Corvid, you know to go back and check all of the IDs. Hashtag HTML1 is our example of our HTML iframe. If yours is different, change the name here. In this code, we also have the name of our dataset. Save signature dataset. We have it twice once on line six, and then again on line seven. What this code is saying is it's taking the timestamp, the image that was actually performed inside of the HTML iframe, and we're setting the field for our column called signature and assigning the sign stamp to that column. Then we actually save the data set on line number seven. After it saves, you can add extra code to do something else. 
For example, in our tutorial site, upon clicking the Submit button, it saves it and it shows a thank you. This is a hidden strip that we've added underneath, so that way the first strip collapses and the second strip expands. What you should know is that the third party code creates an image URL. So, under the type of field for that column of our signature column, in our example, we selected image. You will notice that the data is underlined in red because this is a URL that is not compatible to insert a copy of the image directly into the Wix database. But it will still allow you to view the submitted signatures and even allow you to right click and save the image. This is what it looks like. And if you open the downloaded image, this is what it looks like. Here is an example of our database collection with that signature field set as an image type. And this is the red underline I was talking about. Just in case you were curious, these are, are the current permissions under the settings for our database collection. That's it. Nothing else to do. Test out your form. Let us know if it worked for you. Bye.